Most people don't understand what is industrial engineering. We don't make things you can touch, we don't make buildings or anything like this. It is very difficult for me to classify myself because I have an undergraduate degree in physics, a PhD in applied mathematics. Then I'm in the industrial engineering department. Industrial engineering came about during the Industrial Revolution and a lot of it was tied to manufacturing, factory operations and so forth. But what we do today has changed enormously. We're going through a data revolution. So the question now becomes how to harness this data and also how to move from data to making important decisions. Industrial engineering and management sciences, in short, is about data science for decision making. You can call it system engineering. So we actually engineer systems to be more productive and more efficient. It could be energy, it could be health, it could be manufacturing, it could be logistics, and you can go down that list. Given today's environment, a lot of good works are interdisciplinary. So I think IE sits kind of very nicely in the intersection of many things. My research area is computer simulation. We're currently working with General Motors on trying to envision transportation in cities of the future. I'm working on nutrition in NICU units. So it's a really delicate balance in those first few weeks for babies who were born preterm. We are designing a robot shepherd. The idea is in case there is a disaster, then we're going to send a bunch of these tiny robots and they can herd people into the safe area. Today we are taking technologies that have been in the social space, like Twitter, like Facebook, and seeing what we can do if we take these kinds of social media platforms and put them inside the workplace. In the end, highly innovative work comes from people in small corners working quietly on really difficult ideas. It is very rewarding, and it makes you feel like the effort was worthwhile, especially taking the risks. And this is what universities are for. In a university, you can dream.